Sir Thomas George Roddick. That's what Roddick Gate is named after. I'm downtown Montreal. I'm at the entrance to McGill University. And somehow, this gate has a very unique connection to not only the West Island, not only Point Claire, but the Point Claire Yacht Club. And not only the Point Claire Yacht Club, but the water filtration plant in Point Claire, where we get all of our water. How is all of that connected to this? Well, I'm about to tell you. Let's start with what we know, or easily Googleable. The Roddick Gate was built in 1924 after a donation by Lady Amy Redpath Roddick in memory of her late husband who passed away one year earlier in 1923. His name was Sir Dr. Thomas George Roddick. Born in Harbour Grace, Newfoundland in 1846, just 100 years before the baby boomies began to grace our dear planet Earth. In 1864, he moved to Montreal to attend McGill University, and then in 1868, he graduated from the Faculty of Medicine, first in his class, and winning prestigious awards along the way. In his career, he went on to become Assistant House Surgeon at the Montreal General Hospital, first Chief of Surgery at the Royal Vic in 1894, and then in 1901, he became Dean of the Faculty of Medicine at McGill. He was the first to introduce the antiseptic method in Montreal and Canada, which revolutionized the surgical practice. And just one more interesting little piece before I connect him to Point Claire. In 1885, at the outbreak of the Louis Royal Rebellion in the Northwest, Roddick went to the front lines as Deputy Surgeon General of the Canadian Militia and organized the medical and hospital services. It's a legend. So the prestige of having McGill University's main gate named after this guy is certainly non-debatable. However, how does this all tie into Point Claire? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Thomas's wife, Lady Amy Redpath Roddick, the one who donated the gate to McGill, was actually his second wife. His first wife was Eurelia Roddick. Eurelia McKinnon Roddick, daughter of the first mayor of Point Claire Village, William McKinnon, and the owner of Willowbank Mansion. And it's obvious that he spent a lot of time in his in-law's summer home because in an article from 1886, here's a bunch of guys from downtown coming into the Willowbank Mansion hoping to see Sir Dr. Thomas George Roddick. He wasn't there though, he was away. So this is where Dr. Roddick lived, on the corner of Union and Belmont. This would have been where he lived, just to get orientated on where we are. Just one year before Eurelia and Sir Thomas were married in 1880, the Point Claire Boating Club, that's why I'm here, the Point Claire Boating Club was established in 1879. And the original names on the manifest of the Point Claire Boating Club, indeed you see Sir Thomas George Roddick and George McKinnon, his brother-in-law. How cool is that? But I'm not done. There's another connection. He had a financial investment in the village. He owned a hotel, not the Point Claire Hotel, not the Mapes, not the Edgewater. It was Hotel Belgevin, and it was located right here, right at the current location of Malgadie Bourgeois School, which it would eventually become. Now, around the date of his wife's death in 1890, the clergy approached him asking to purchase the building. They wanted to convert it to a boys' school, which they did in 1896. Now. With his wife passing in 1890, the Willow Bank going up for sale, and the selling of the hotel, that's pretty much the end of Sir Thomas George Roddick's time here in Point Claire. But that's not the end of the story. Rather, it's the beginning of a brand new era in Point Claire Village.